winner's side to make it out of my pool, PGIS versus Jen. So we have one of the best players in New York. Honestly, one of the, the strongest players in the whole tri-state region, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, definitely. Top eight at um, uh, left wing moves, definitely. His peak, his peak in the game just came out. <laughs> like, there's still so much room for everyone to grow, but Jen has been showing such solid performance lately and showcasing why Paulo Tena is a strong character. And then PGIS, who's been putting on the numbers with Lucario, is convinced that this character is a lot stronger than he was in Smash 4. He was already a solid character. Yeah, BD was uh, saying the same thing. He was saying, oh, Lucario has like, more movement options and mechanics and his orders of your charges and stuff. But PGIS, one of the more, I don't want to call him a hidden boss, but like less known players in New York because he's like so deep in Long Island and Xeno is like far from him. Definitely. So it'll be a fun set to see how things will escalate. On top of that, PGIS was saying how he's feeling like he's playing really well lately, but yeah. he's so got a match up against <laughs> Jen. Jen has been on fire as of late. Past few events he's been attending, he's just been slaughtering. Yeah, and it just comes down to how well Jen's been holding advantage shape this whole time. It just seems like PJS can't really get anything started. He's like trying to control the ledge, and the ledge play against Paula Ten is a dangerous game because you can catch her out on her landings if she tries to come for anything above, and she can't really do too much off the ledge itself. But Lucario's tools don't really aim themselves too well for covering Paula Ten's options. Yeah, definitely, but um, still that. Super, super strong back here. Be a bit more stronger if you have more rage on him, but PJS. I don't know if he would want to take this damage, but like it's a blessing and a curse, you know? Oh, uh, but that is the he wanted to he wanted to curve higher, but he just went straight down he, to the yeah, He drove right off the road on that one. That's <laughs> what the okay. Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? That <laughs> hold on a moment. I think that was like All the right, greatest so the... SD I've ever seen. Uh, I, <laughs> My so people the... need me. So the first stock, all right, I buy it. Jen outplays him, and PGIS gets cooked. I right. second stock, a bit unfortunate. P just just doesn't angle his recovery well. All right, I don't know what the hell happened with that third stock. You just gotta shake it off, man. If you're playing, if you're playing well, you gotta keep it going. I mean, you can't just can't like kill your own momentum like that. Nah, yeah, that's that's brutal. But Game Two's bringing us to Nova Pokemon League. Yeah, this is probably because it uh, messes up. Um, Palutena's recovery more because she can't go up the, the uh, slide on the um, side of the stage. Yeah, she has to commit her recovery to being like at the ledge or yeah. above the ledge, in which case, uh, which is, yeah. like Lucario's gonna have a bit of a better time covering it just because it's always gonna be like a set timing. It's not the worst thing to go like high for recovery to the ledge because fun fact, you cannot get two framed if you re recover from above the ledge. Also, for what it's worth, Lucario can cover a smaller stage like Unova really well. It's yeah. just a matter of, like, he just, just needs to keep himself on the stage. I feel like one of the things that made Game 1 so brutal for Jen, besides those STs on Fijus, was the fact that Jen constantly kept Lucario in the air. Ooh, side be gonna come out. That move is just so aesthetically pleasing. He just grab, big plume of fire, <laughs> done. Just smacks you. It's, it's great. Um, PJS here with the lead for the first time like yeah, this whole set, so we'll see how we can work with it. Lucario with Elite is very scary because he still has all the percent, and but he is plus a stock, so it, it balances out more. Nice For what it's team. worth, like Aura's not as powerful as it once was, but at the cost of like Lucario having like actual normals to mess around with. Yeah, exactly. Because like it felt like in Smash Four, like when he could hit you a low percent and really do anything, but like in this game, it's like he hits you. He actually has combos and like damage now. So I like I like how they changed it. I like the character design now. Gen Pop are gonna retaliate without Smash. He's trying to get something basic. And Gen has nailed all of these uh, um, teleport cancels on the, on the uh, platforms. I'm liking it a lot. Yeah, it shows how well practiced he is with his character's movement. And I feel like movement is such a big factor for Palutena because anything that she does aggressively is is a commitment. Yeah, man, because half the battle is actually learning the tech skill of the game. I feel like Aura Sphere is something that uh, PGIS has to be careful about how he uses, just for the sake of, like, he has to worry about Reflector. Even yeah. though Jen hasn't used it yet, and he's not the type of player to use it willy-nilly, like, it is something to be careful of. Even, like, a mid-charged Aura Sphere being reflected back is going to be terrifying. Oh my god. 
that is such a cool animation, dude. I am loving what, what Nintendo's doing with this game. They're making it like a like a real fighter game. You know, you hit someone, like you actually hit them. No, yeah. Between the sound design, making it seem like every hit hurts when it lands, and then some effects just having more dramatic impact. Like, look at that! Look at that! He, the the slow-mo on his eye and just him like, palming you right in the chest. It is so beautiful. The move is also guaranteed to get dramatic finish at higher percentages, even if it's not going to kill. Really? So, well, you know. as we sit in these last stocks, you're going to see plenty of the uh, the blue background and the flashing. Yeah, man. The smaller stages and smaller blast zones. Jen's going to find that back throw. It looked like it uh, wouldn't kill there, but um, I guess he knows character better than ourselves. But I gotta say, he just really brought this back, considering how heavy of a deficit he had to fight back. Like. Game one was horrifying for him. Yeah, yeah. And this has been a lot more even of a battle. Yeah, and right now, you can't really tell on the lead because it depends on if PGS can get something started. I'm gonna put him into Blender now. I'm not gonna find the backer. Jin using Nair and Bear for approaching has been working out super well for him. Not only can he get tons of follow-ups off of Nair, but the upper body and vulnerability from back air is yeah, working out so room. well. Right, the roll read on the ledge. That Aura Sphere did a lot of damage, I am concerned. <laughs> but the backer did even more, that's not gonna kill. It's gonna oh get him close, though. All right, PJS here. Is it too little too late? Does he have enough engine in the tank? Or fuel in the tank? <laughs> yeah, that can't even speak. <laughs> I mean, you gotta look at what's going on here. Explosive oh, Flame's gonna explosive catch flame. him out. Oh, he was playing it so well in that second game. Too bad for you. All right, man, yeah. I, even though he didn't, he, he lost the battle, but he won the war, because, um, I do like how he changed what he was doing and he didn't, you know, like, kill himself at 11%. No, that's <laughs> so he actually, sad. He actually seemed like he had a 